The Gatundu South legislator is not new to controversy, especially the kind that is triggered by inflammatory talk in the political arena. His latest controversial sentiments were directed towards NASA presidential candidate Raila Odinga. Kuria was speaking at a political rally in Kiambu, where he criticized the opposition leader and those who voted for him in the August polls and threatened them with punishment. Kuria's comments rubbing many off the wrong way, even as the NCIC called for calm as investigations are carried out. Moses Kuria's story came to me yesterday. Yesterday is just yesterday. It is not ages. It is not forever. What hist? Why do you want me to move with his? I've already told you he spoke in his native language which I don't understand. And that we have to e- to to translate or translate it into a language that I can I, I can understand. NCIC Chair Francis Caparo insisting no action will be taken against Korea until investigations are complete. We have sent it to the investigators to find out whether or not a crime known to the law has been committed. The Gatundo South Member of Parliament is notorious for talking himself to trouble and has been previously prosecuted by the NCIC over careless remarks. Cases against him, however, have collapsed. Why do you want me to charge him without knowing whether or not he has broken the law? Is it just because his name is Moses Kuri? Do you hate the name? I don't think that is how we should behave. I think we should deal with individuals according to available evidence and the law that is broken. Caparo called for tolerance and urged the Electoral Commission to put its house in order to mitigate rising tensions ahead of next month's repeat presidential election. The NCIC now on the spotlight to live up to its billing as the list of hate mongers grows.